hey guys it's me your guy ali again from the ghana dream channel and i'm back again with a new episode of building our dream house in ghana as you already know uh this channel is all about how to survive ghana helping locals by giving them job if they can do it right ways of saving money and get the job done right you know what i'm saying um Today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through of wiring our dream house in Ghana from buying materials and uh, how the job is being done, things you want to look out for, type of materials you might want to consider while you're doing your project. Um, in Ghana, uh, there's a lot of competition when it comes to buying materials. They have good ones, they have fake ones, they have original ones, all kind in the market. You want to do your own research. You want to make sure you have a trusted person. You see, uh, if you're doing your electrical uh, electrical work, you want to make sure your electrician have a lot of experience. He's been in the business for a while. He knows what, what he's looking out for. Well, I have a recommendation from my electrician. It's a guy that I trust a lot. Uh, he worked with big companies, you know, um, and also the company that I bought the materials from is my neighbor who have his own company called get wired in the center of accra you know what i'm saying um you can look him up at get wired or you can get in touch with me and we're gonna hook you up with the best price and the uh good material you know what i'm saying well i did my own research as well despite the recommendation you know what i did is you know um every area is different you know i went to my neighbors around the area i'm building honestly knocked door by door asked people what kind of wire they use and the one that really stand out is the R and R cable. You know what I'm saying? They have the cable called Ghana cable, and they have R and R cable and other cables. But mostly the Ghana cable and the R and R cable are the good ones. The price difference is a little bit. You know, um, the Ghana cable I think is a little bit more expensive than the R and R cable. But I went with the R and R cable because you know um, most people told me that's what they use around where. Uh, I'm building my house so uh, these are things you want to look out for and because uh, you know we work hard for what we get you know what I'm saying you don't want to have problem in the future whereby they have to come back you know take the wires down spend another money or, uh, or maybe get your um, equipment or something in the house broken you know due to you know uh, fake wires or you didn't do the writing you know what I'm saying so um, just take your time and do the writing so uh, another thing I'll mention is uh, with the main switch. We have two main switch in my house. And uh, what we went with is the, uh, it's called Mem Shield. Yeah, it's called Mem Shield. Uh, and that's a British made. And uh, they said that's supposed to be the best one, you know, the top brand one. It's not common in the market. And also the R&R &R cable is a Turkish brand. You know, so uh, just look out for those things, do your own research. And uh, if you can afford it, go for it. You know what I'm saying? If you need help, guys, you can get in touch with me. And uh, we'll see how we can help. Yeah, good. Uh, also, one thing that I learned from the R&R &R cable, the original one, is supposed to be flexible. That's one thing. When you bend it, it's supposed to be able to bend without breaking. And um, the rubber coated around it is supposed to be two different colors. And always the inside one has to be white you know the fake ones when you bend it like two three times it's gonna break you know so so these are some tricks that i learned you know uh through my electrician so watch out for those things um while you're doing your own project before we jump into the video guys uh i just want to let you guys know at the end of the video i'm gonna send a cost breakdown of, of every expenses we did for the meantime guys enjoy the video and have a blessed day well, thank you. Welcome to Get Wired Electors, right inside uh, the city of Accra. Okay. Most of it to be precise. Cool. You know. Yeah. I wonder how she do this, but you know, that's what she do every day. Let's go. Come with you. Thank you. 
I'm going to be uh, taking you through the, uh, our dream house uh, while the electrician is doing his work. So we're going to start from here. As you can see, the wiring is already going through everywhere in the house. Coming out here, you can see right here, these are the switches. Uh, I don't think he did this one yet. And uh, when we walk in here, in the living room, you can see all the wiring has been run in the um, in the walls. You know, I'm so excited because you know we have some progress of getting the light in here very soon. Look at all this right here. Also, you can see the uh, the air condition cable is already run in, ready. When we have light, we can put air condition in here. You see, these are all the cables for the uh, light. I think it's done here. Um, when you look up here by the um, ceiling, you can see all the words uh, is being. Uh, this is the dining room, so uh, you can see all the words is being run from the dining room to the kitchen. Uh, I also uh, plan to have an air condition in the kitchen. Why? Because, you know, Africa is hot and uh, sometimes when you cook, it's going to be too hot in the kitchen. Also, right there is another air condition on this platform. When you come down here in the family room, oh, cool. I see he already start lining up the pipe and the circular boxes, which I believe Maybe that's the way he wanted to put it up in the um, in the ceiling, but I see he already ran some of the cables here. So check it out. And these are the cables. Um, let me see. This door is locked. I believe he, he finished that side. As I already said, you know we have to keep pushing. You know one step at a time. Remember, thousand miles of journey start with a single steps and never give up. Always try again. Most of the switches and the uh, circuit is being done. And now he wanted to start running the cables up in the ceiling. Uh, let me go in here. I think he's right here. Electrician is here. So, all right. Uh, the cable kind of changed a little bit around here. We're beginning to see black, blue, and red. Okay. And also, same colors in the switches we see on the other side. I think we might have to talk to the electrician. He might explain some few things for us. So, you know, Alasa, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, I see a lot of cables right now around here. And uh, I'm looking at blue, red, black, and all these cables. Why all these colors? And, um, you know, can you explain some few things for us about what is going on right now and what you're doing? These cables are here for a purpose. You can see we have two blue here and two black, then one red color. These two blue, two blue uh, cables are for the uh, intermediate switch, and the other two black are for the intermediate switch. For this territory, this uh, you can see two beams here. Okay. Two beams. Okay, the beams, right? Yeah. In between the two beams, there's there, there's going to be a different switch which will control the lighting system over there. And this side too, I mean after the uh, the beams and the opposite side of the other side of the beams, mm -hmm. both sides are going to be another one switch. When you are coming from the main entrance, you can own it here. Okay. Either you want the, the light in between the two beams, you can own it here. This side will not own. Okay. Only in between the two beams will Over own. There. Okay. If you want the, or, or, or if you want both sides to own, then you put, the switches are going to be two switches. Okay. Then you can own the other two, other switch too. Okay. Then you can have both light, light on. On. Okay, that's all the three uh, sections. Yeah, one, two, all three. the three sections. Okay. So if you want this section, you on, you leave the middle one, then you own it. Okay. You so that will give you this one and the last one. Yeah. Okay. So if you come to this side, maybe okay. 
you are in this territory mm -hmm. and you want the room to be dark. Okay. You don't need to walk through and go to the main door. Or the way or the other where side. The, yeah, and, and off there is in the, the switch. Okay. The switch, one will be somewhere here. Okay. Okay. Then you put it off mm -hmm. and here will be dark. So that if somebody is sitting, uh, 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 standing far, will not see you, but you can see the person. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, too, mm -hmm. there will be a lighting system to here. Okay. So you don't need to own it all the way over there. All, all the way over there. Uh, 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 By the main on, entrance. Yeah, on the main, main entrance. You can own it here. Okay. Then you have your lights. Okay. Yeah. For the LED lights yeah. in the uh, in the POP, yeah. the switches are going to be four gang switch. Okay. You can own the uh, the LED lights. Okay. Here. Okay. Then you can off it there. We are going to run another cable to you. We're gonna add another cable here. Okay. Uh, we are doing full conduit work and full intermediate work too. Okay. So that you have a smooth control of the lighting system in the building cool so um i mean i kind of feel good i feel better right now when he explained everything and um hopefully we're going to continue when we get to the next episode of running these cables right here in our dream house in ghana for the meantime guys don't forget to subscribe share with friends and family and like if you like what you see Thank you and peace.